good technique. So we had a great time. The weather, I was so worried because it had been raining in LA and Hollywood for days. I think maybe even a couple weeks. And the Thursday, we went on the Thursday and that was the first day that it was kind of sunny. So I was so thankful for that. Despite driving through a blizzard on our way there, I was thankful for the good weather while we were at Universal. And we did have a good time at Universal and I do think the VIP tickets are definitely worth um, the price just because it's not that much more expensive than the regular express tickets but they really disappointed me in various ways um, first of all <laughs> first of all we paid an extra $50 $25 each to get an hour early access to the Super Nintendo Land which like the whole idea is you get in early and do stuff before it opens to everyone else in like lines form, right? So we're there at 8 a.m. right when they open and we immediately want to do the Mario Kart ride because we wanted to ride it multiple times because with the VIP express ticket, you can do the express line unlimited times for all the rides and the regular express ticket, you can only use it one time per ride. So one of the perks of paying extra for the VIP is you can do all the rides multiple times with the express line. And the line for the Bowser ride was like two hours long um, if you didn't have the express ticket. So uh, we immediately get in line for that ride, we're about to board, and then the ride breaks down. <laughs> And so we wait, everyone else is in there, like we're all kind of waiting. And so we end up waiting like an hour and it never turns back on, like it never gets fixed and they just make everyone exit. And by that time we had wasted our whole early access hour. And by that time the, the lines were already formed everywhere else because the park had opened. And so that was annoying. We kind of wasted our 50 bucks. So we basically paid $50 extra to sit in the broken down Mario ride for an hour. So that was annoying. And then we tried again at like two o'clock, get to the point of almost boarding and it breaks down again. <laughs> and it's not like a quick process, even though we have the express tickets, it's not really a quick process to get through the ride and like up and down. Cause it's at the lower level. If you've ever been to Universal, 
you have to ride like five really long escalators to get to the lower level and it probably takes 10 or 15 minutes and it's kind of annoying to have to keep going up and down up and down when you're trying to just ride something like before the park closes you know so that was annoying um it broke down again so we had to leave and we went and did something else so this was also my first time going to universal and experiencing um, universal or any theme park honestly since losing weight i've only ever gone to universal um as my larger former size and so i couldn't ever ride everything i could never ride harry potter as you know if you've kind of been around a while um, what the catalyst was for my weight loss journey starting it to begin with was in 2018 I got kicked off of the mummy because the ride attendant and Mike were trying to push the lap bar down over me to get it to latch so I could ride it and it wouldn't latch because I was too big and I had to get off and um, I couldn't fit on Harry Potter like I couldn't fit on a lot of the other rides so this was my first time being able to walk around without foot pain and fit on everything and so that was incredible. I can't even put into words how incredible that feeling was. So I got my revenge ride on the mummy. That was fun. Just being able to latch the lap bar over me felt so good. I literally cannot even explain to you how good that felt. And by the end of the night, we had walked about 22,000 steps and Every other time we've gone to Universal, this is like our fifth time going. Every time we're leaving, my feet are wrecked. I have blisters. I am in pain. I am miserable. This time we walked around City Walk afterwards. We, you know, my feet were a little sore, but I was not in pain. And I was happy to keep walking around and enjoying myself. And I've never had that before. I've never been able to experience that before. Oh, also, Someone totally recognized me on the city walk. I totally forgot. That was awesome too. Mike and I were just walking down the city walk and it was pretty empty because it was kind of late at night, 8.39, things were kind of closing down. And all of a sudden I hear, is that the TikTok girl? Ma'am, are you the TikTok girl? <laughs> and I turn around and it was this woman with her family and uh, her daughter was so excited to show me her Nintendo Land power band because she saw mine on my wrist. and. Um, the mom was like, I, you're my inspiration and I follow you. And it, that was really awesome. That was so, so, so cool. I love meeting you guys. So always say hi to me if you ever see me. It was cool to ha that it happened in a different city. It's happened, you know, because I have like a lot of local people that follow me. So in Tucson, it happens every once in a while, but to have it in a different city was very cool. So back to Harry Potter. Um, I was excited to write Harry Potter because I obviously have um, never been able to write it before because I've been too large. So it's the ride that you kind of dangle from your legs dangle and you have a harness that goes over you over your chest and it doesn't totally flip you upside down but it flips you back to where you're almost upside down if that makes sense it's a little it's probably the more intense ride at universal especially for me because i'm kind of a baby wuss on rides like the mummy is like borderline too much for me, you know? So anyways, we're on the Harry Potter ride and that breaks down while we're on it, mid in the air, in the black darkness, dangling around. And I am like, ah! kids start screaming bloody murder because everyone's terrified because all of a sudden you just hear technical difficulty, blah, blah, blah. And the ride just, so for about a minute, it could have been shorter, but it was very long in my brain. I want to I want to estimate it was about a minute. We're just dangling there while an automated robot voice comes over the loudspeaker. Technical difficulty, ride malfunction. Whoa, whoa. Kids are screaming bloody murder. And so then the ride starts up again like normal. Um, but I was very excited to, to get off of that one because, uh. And then we're riding The Secret Life of Pets and that broke down as well that one um not as scary because you're just sitting in a little car that slowly takes you through a little land so not really scary but still what the fuck? universal mario kart three different times secret life of pets once harry potter once all broken down while i'm on so the park closed at seven that night. So we had wasted so much time in 
the broken Mario ride a couple times and then having to wait in the long lines to do like little Mario world challenges and stuff because we wasted our early access thing because of the broken Mario ride. We basically were right up against the clock to try and one last time to ride the Mario ride. So we're riding the slow escalators down at like 6.50. We finally make it by the skin of our teeth and we are able to finally ride the Mario ride right before the park closes. I think we were the last group and it was so awesome. Really, really cool ride. Very fun, but buggy. <laughs> so just beware if you're planning on going, but very.